Robin from Anime American here, and this is Matt. I'm, I'm just Matt. This is, this is a Matt. It's just a Matt. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of my awesome friends here in Australia, and you're probably wondering why I'm in Australia. A lot of people have been asking me, why are you in Australia when your name is Anime America? Well, I got married. See, so, someone like me, now he put a ring on it. See? So, he's a Sydney boy, and I lived in Orlando, and pretty much choosing between... Both countries were like, eh, it's more financially stable in Australia, and I could just pick up my production and go, so I'm in Sydney now. But I'll still come back and forth between Sydney and really, America. Really, really, really. <laughs> but no promises. No promises. So one thing I noticed there is a lot of interesting candy here. Some candy. There's more. There's more. There's a lot. There's a lot of candy here. I think I'll start with that one because right now I'm just going to test out all this candy I've never tried before or something that I just found ironic and just you guys get to watch my reaction. I'm going to start with this one because this is banned in America. They used to be called like, well, there was a product similar to this called Wonder Ball, which it was a hollow chocolate sphere and in the center there was a prize, but apparently kids were so dumb. They would just scarf the whole thing down, and the toy would get lodged in their throat. Not the kind of surprise I'd like. No. So let's see what kind of uh, surprise I get in this one. I'm just gonna divide it in half. What is that? What did I get? Let's get to the toy before you eat it. Yes. That's, that's, that's what you're really That's the for. golden rule. I think here is like a little bracelet for the kids. Oh, is that actually a crown? Some of them are crowns. Actually, I'm not entirely sure what this is anymore. <laughs> from the... Okay? It's from the Nay Tune Collection. You can decide what that is, because I have no idea. And apparently I got the... Ornithorig... Cassanitas? Like a platypus? Basically a platypus. I got a platypus. Look look how doughy I is. Look look how cute that is. I got a platypus. I found my own chocolate now. I ate the chocolate. I ate the chocolate. Here's your chocolate. Hmm. Kind of like milk on your chai and white chocolate on your chai. Not bad. I they say, um, America and a lot of other candies outside of America stick to like natural chocolate on like Hershey's. Oh, I went there. <laughs> Speaking of Hershey's, I remember that debate they had when they tried to ban like Cadbury's. Unless it was Hershey's branded Cadbury's, because they're like, any sort of Cadbury's that were sold in America have to be Hershey's kind. So any United Kingdom Australian kinds get the fudge out of America. Only Hershey's can do American Cadbury's, and I'm like, well, I'm boycotting Hershey's. No, you can have Cadbury's. There are, there are Cadbury's everywhere. See the Cadbury Dairy Milk, Cadbury Marvelous Creations, Cadbury Twirls. Cadbury is everywhere. It's just the go-to for even, chocolate. Even Crunchy is Cadbury. All this Cadbury, this is a Nestle. But yeah, Cadbury, Cadbury, even... Cadbury. <laughs> Cadbury is like the Willy Wonka of Australia. Or I say like the Cadbury's is the Hershey's of Australia, but that's kind of like uh, an insult because Hershey's chocolate isn't really that good. Then everyone's like, but you have to put, use Hershey's for s'mores. And I'm like, just get a freaking Ghirardelli square. Can you imagine like, you know, a graham cracker and a melted marshmallow and a Ghirardelli square with some caramel in it? No, no I can't. You can't? No. That's why right, they don't have Ghirardelli here in Australia. I think it's certain stores they sell Ghirardelli. As an experience, I'll have to adventure for. Mommy, send me some Ghirardelli. I want some Ghirardelli. This thing is huge. It's huge. Probably the uh, neatest way I've ever seen chocolate open. Yes. I'm very delicate with my chocolate. And here. <laughs> Just standard Cadbury chocolate. Yes. With some caramel in it. They do also have gimmicky flavors. Gimmicky? 
Vegemite. <laughs> Vegemite? Oh, I gotta find that now. I'm pretty sure it was limited edition, but... Yeah. It could make its way back. You're right. Vegemite from chocolate. Mm. They're standard uh, milk chocolate and caramel. What? Okay. Yeah, there was caramel. Mm -hmm. Although it was just like the milk chocolate one for me. I was like, wait, there's caramel in it? What? <laughs> that makes sense. But that's just it. Like, I like dark chocolate caramel. I was like, ugh, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate with sea salt caramel is the best. I know, Brendan. My husband likes sweeter stuff and milky stuff, but I like. I like dark chocolate. I oh, know, dark chocolate was an acquired taste to me. Mm -hmm. I appreciate this the more yes. I had it. Exactly. You'll appreciate it when you're older. It says curly whirl, and what is. There's holes in this chocolate. This is a curly whirl. Almost looks like a chocolate covered belt. Yeah. I don't know. Well, they could use that as a belt. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> It's almost unbreakable, but it might melt on your pants. Eat it before that happens. <laughs> so, I'm a little hungry. Hey! <laughs> chewy! Ah, oh, the stickiness. It's so chewy. Mm. Yeah, I didn't need to uh, open my mouth anymore. Mm. Alright, so my mouth is glued shut. <laughs> mm? Mm hmm. Worse for her, I see. <laughs> we got so much chocolate. Monster chomp. It, it's called chomp, and it's uh, it's a monster chew. I'm a little worried now because the curly whirly was pretty chewy. This is a stab in the dark for me too. Even though I live here, yeah. I have no idea what I'm expecting from this. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like, it looks like if they made a Kit Kat bar with caramel. Like, can I twist it like halfway and it's still be intact? Oh, wow. <laughs> One, yeah. three twists and for, it's still... Get ready for a chewy experience. Here we go! Oh. Actually. Hmm. It's almost like a Kit Kat bar. It's kind of like a cross between a Kit Kat and a picnic without the nuts. No, oh, kind of. There's a there's a chocolate bar called a uh, picnic, but it's pretty much like, hmm, a oh, whatchamacallit in America. That's the name of the candy bar. Watch. Yeah, I was gonna ask. I was like, wait, that's probably what it's actually called. Isn't yeah. It? Yep. There we go. Twirl. You gotta do this when you're eating the candy. You're just like, ah. Gotta twirl it. Now, 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 see why it's called twirl. <laughs> oh, this one's also predominant. It's kind of like you twisted the bar around. But <laughs> this one didn't quite turn out. I think, so I think twisty. I've, I think I've had these before. Like on the outside, they look regular. But when you bite into it, you see all the, the twirls. Oh, yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a flake. So pretty much like it's all these flakes and twirls. It's like they got like the the shaving chocolate shavings and put it into the center of a chocolate bar. Okay, I think we have like a few more left. I like what I'm seeing. Which one? You choose the next one. Oh. I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah, that one. Cadbury Dairy Milk Marvelous Creations Jelly oh, Popping Candy Beanies. I've had these in ages. Apparently, this thing has like candy filling them in the center, like jelly beans or something. Put yourself full of flames. Oh, jeez. That's the one thing about <clears throat> Australians is that like they like they like flavor. Like I, I look at I look at this coconut cake. I'm like, it's, it's a it's a cake, chocolate frosting, coconut shaving. I bite into it. There's jam. There's jam in this cake. Well, it's probably a game of okay. There's some chocolate here. How much can we put inside it? This is pretty much. Mm. 
much. The peak of it all. <laughs> I just feel it first. It's kind of like the crunch bars. It feels like the crunch bars. Nestle crunch bars with all the Rice Krispies in it. It feels like that, but it doesn't look like that because it's got colors. Now let's see if current me agrees with childhood me. <laughs> oh dear. Very subtle. Oh wait, there it is. Yep, right. And it's popping in my mouth. Yep, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, there it comes. <laughs> I do not advise drinking solo after you've had some of that. Mm -mm. Any soda at all. Just, nope. Mm -hmm. So basically it's a Nestle Crunch Bar with Pop Rocks, including the flavor. Oh, that's weird. So if I move my mouth and stop it, it, this is really strong. <laughs> oh, so much fizz! <laughs> that's that's a fun one. I like. Ah! <laughs> there's there's plenty more, Robin. Look look at all of this that you could be having later. Later. But first, we had two bags and these three to go. I've got to that one. This one. That one. You want to try Save it now? for later. Yeah, I was gonna say that for last, because that's just intriguing. One yeah. of those two will be last. Let's just get this one out of the way, because it seems kind of boring. The milky, milky bar. I'm guessing a lot of milk in this. Is this literally like a milk bar? Oh, I don't know, Robin. Do your milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard? Do it again, Griffin. Oh, come on! I just did it, Rita. Do it! <laughs> well, here we go. Yeah. And yes, it tastes just like white chocolate. Not a big fan of white chocolate. So, milky bar tastes like white chocolate. You pretty much get a white chocolate bar. Crunchy. On there. I'm guessing there's two in there. Oh, it's a twin pack. It's a twin pack. Seriously, need a glass of milk after this. Why don't we have a glass of milk here? <laughs> I made a huge mistake. Especially when we have to try I that. I realize we turned this into a challenge. So, <laughs> yeah. See so who can go the longest without milk. Where's the milk? Oh. There you go. Crunchy is a golden hokey pokey honeycomb covered in Cadbury milk chocolate. What the hell is a golden hokey pokey? Mr. Ozzy. Uh, is that literally what I described it as? Golden hokey pokey. A golden hokey pokey. The, all, all do we, I'm, do all we have I'm, to turn ourselves I'm, around? All I'm thinking is, you know, that little child dance thing. It's like, golden <laughs> hokey pokey, you can turn around. <laughs> That's what it's all about? Yep. That's what it's all about. Oh dear. Okay, let's see what a hokey pokey Prepare is. Prepare your teeth. Oh no. Hmm. Oh no! Okay. I liked these a lot as a kid. I got to turn more and more off them because of the honey inside of it. Okay, it leaves oh, no. a very bad taste when you're done with it. Ugh. So, As yeah, there's honey inside of it, and you take your first few bites, it's easy to bite through, and if you leave it there for too long, it starts getting sticky, then mm. you get stuck to your teeth. And then that's not so nice. This is the center of it, it's like some golden crispy honey soaked crunch bar covered in milk chocolate. I'm guessing that's a hokey pokey. Okay. I'm supposed to know that, I still don't. You gotta put your left foot in, and then left foot out. Um, left foot in, and then you shake it all out. Not sure how I feel about this one, because I am not a huge fan of real Turkish delights. This is like the candy version of Turkish delights. Every time I've had a Turkish delight, it always tastes the same thing, like freaking potpourri. Don't like it. I, for one, adore those. <laughs> 
So if I hate it, he gets to have the rest. Win win. <laughs> Here is your Turkish delight, sir. There's some that are like gelatin covered and some sort of like powdered sugar. And this is the chocolate covered. But I will say it was an acquired taste. Ah. Uh... Not a fucking potpourri. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you doing okay there? You having, having fun? Turkish Delight? What, what's that? Ugh. I get more Turkish Delight, if you say so! I'll take a bite out of the snow crackle pop one. <laughs> oh, I guess that mm -hmm. leaves the twisties. And those. Come to those last. Alrighty. <laughs> Take a break and pop it. So they made... Are, are Twisties generally like corn chips or potato chips? What, do, mm. How, what are they made of? Are they corn or starch? Like, well, both are starch, but... Are they corn or potato? That's what I was never really sure about. Like, I think it's corn and rice. Like, let's have a look at the back, actually. Cereals, corn rice, so it's... Right. Yeah, corn so and this, rice. These are pretty much corn chips. And the twisties usually come in like cheddar or salt. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're identified by their cheesy pile. Yeah, they, they're usually cheesy. This one is twisties with the flavor of sour candy. I don't know if these are actually going to permanently stay, but... Oh dear. Let's... Whoa! Okay. Challenge. Challenge. Handful. Oh no. And if you manage not to make a face, I'll be impressed. That might be too big for my mouth. Will that works for you. Alright. I regret nothing. Oh, oh. Mm. Ah. Mm. The main reason why it went down for a bit becomes a one of them almost went down my throat and choked me. So I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah, that that's. I still have the, the, this mat up my hand. <laughs> Talking about mm. the guy who will dip his Big Macs into Coke. Mm. <laughs> You're a wild man, Matt. Wow. I don't know why I do things. Nope. No one knows. The flavor is so interesting. Like, it's. You guys have like warheads or like. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like that. It's it's warhead flavored chips. So you get the sourness and the flavor of a warhead, but on a rice, you know, chip like a rice, on a flavorless Cheeto. We'll put it that way. These things literally look like Cheetos. Have you ever had, like, the regular corn Cheetos? No cheese on it whatsoever. That's pretty much that covered in sour flavor. And as you can see, it's why we call them twisties. They're, they're, they're twisty. Twisties. It's very interesting. It's very acquired taste. And I can I can munch on those, but still feel a little weirded out by them. Because when you're at my age, you're like, this isn't healthy. This is, <laughs> this is high school food right here. The, the, a time and age when you don't give a shit about what you put in your body. Ah, just never grow up. That's the solution. Talking to somebody who had like so many like pizzas in high school and I never gained an ounce and now I'm past college. And I'm like, dang it. I'm gaining weight. It happens to all of us. You gotta watch what you eat and yeah, exercise. Yeah, all, all of us. So, Australia and Japan, they share similar candies when it comes to like multi-flavored Kit Kats. And whatnot, and apparently they do the same with M and M's. And this is a brand new M and M flavored pineapple. Pineapple M and M's. It's gonna be a burst for both of us once again. Yeah. Pineapple M and M's. Oh dear. 
Uh, okay. Take a smell. I'm gonna have to take a smell. This. What's did it? What? <laughs> um, <laughs> I am really confused. Yeah. Maybe should we take a handful uh, then? I I guess. Just take a handful. And they come in lovely colors of green, yellow, and brown. There. I didn't get any brown. Braces. <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> Alrighty, pineapple. Pineapple flavored dividends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, you know what? I, I don't know. Kind of like it now, but that's, I think, because so I'm weird. tasting more of the chocolate now. It's so weird. I didn't expect that much pineapple. She legit tasted like pineapple. Mm -hmm. That was a pineapple flavor. So, chocolate, pineapple, there you go. Wow. Well, that was Wasn't expecting that. It actually tasted like pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you get chocolate bananas, that fake banana taste as opposed to real bananas. Oh, I love chocolate covered bananas. But that was weird. I think that's... Yeah, that was weird. I think that's all the candy we have. some more. <laughs> Give another chance. Oh, no, it's still weird. <laughs> That's all the candy we have. Very interesting candy. And there were some that, that I left out, like arrows and bounties, because they are sold in public stores in America. At least the Publix that I went to back in Florida, they have bounties and arrows. And so I'm looking at all these cabbers in the Publix. I'm like, what, what's up, Hershey's? What's up? You didn't ban these? What's up? But yeah. Definitely need to try some real Cadbury's because they're so good and so creamy compared to Hershey's. Or at least the Hershey's Cadbury. <sighs> what was your opinion revisiting your childhood candy? Chocolate is always got a place in my heart. <laughs> Especially the fizzy ones. And the Turkish Except delights. Except multi-flavored chocolate milk. Multi-flavored chocolate milk? There's very odd flavors. Oh dear. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. There was once chili chocolate milk. Chili, yes, chili. Actually, I've had I've had chili chocolate though. So they had milk to that. I wouldn't. Is it the type See, that it tasted like chocolate, but then it just explodes in your throat? Like whoa! That's what that's what happened to me with the chili chocolate ice cream back at Universal, where you would taste it and it tastes like chocolate ice cream, and then all of a sudden, boom! This like spiciness kicks in your throat. And you're like. <gasps> See, I found it weird when I had it because I drank it and. Well, it's, it's chocolate milk. Expect it to be cold, so yeah, it's cold. And then you feel this sort of heat afterwards, like, what? <laughs> I'm feeling two opposite things, right, at the same... What is going on? <laughs> but yeah, that's our special one. Very odd, but tasty candy. I say odd, I'm insulting your culture, but I'm the American that's like, oh, your candy's weird, but that's really tasty. No. I'm naive, and I find a lot of these flavors odd, too. <laughs> That's one thing that I've noticed is that uh, Australia likes to experiment with flavors. Like, especially the lamingtons really caught me off guard because I'm used to, you know, yellow cake and chocolate. And sure, it's got some coconut on it. I'm not a big fan of coconut, but I'm like, okay, yellow cake, chocolate, and coconut. So there's going to be some cream in the center. There's jam. So I wasn't used to the jam. I'm not... The only time I ever put jam on anything is on toast or on peanut butter jelly sandwich. Jam That's fillings it. are good in donuts. I don't like jam fillings in donuts though. I like Boston cream. Good call there though. Boston cream, yummy. But I can't have Boston cream donuts anymore because of my weight. 
that I eat. You can, you just don't want to. Oh, I, oh, 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 I actually, can. You want to. I want to. I just can't anymore. Like, hmm, just gotta watch my diet. It'll be a sometimes treat. Sometimes every day. <laughs> That's what I like. <laughs> But yeah, thank you for watching this very obscure video. Coming up next is, I don't know, I don't know when I'm releasing this video, but more awesome videos are on the way. This is my little platypus friend saying, stay tuned, Anime America. Follow the platypus for more updates. Ooh, platypus. <laughs> Bye. One, two, three. Turkish delight. <laughs> Tastes like potpourri. Yeah. There we go. Tastes like potpourri.